All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me and we do so if you actually can. So this is another quick video, hopefully, one addressing specifically the AI bubble as it's come to be called, that has been growing rather rapidly, especially over the past year. And that's where we go in regards to the title of the video. The bubble is the point. That actually is why you've seen AI shoved and brute forced into everything, everything from Google searches, which automatically use AI, unless you add a specific coded thing at the end, which most people aren't going to. So many sites are having AI programs auto translate comments. YouTube is having its AI auto dub videos by brute force. New TVs and screens of all kinds are coming within the moment, real-time AI image enhancing various types of programs and softwares, like for example, video editing softwares, now just straight up tell you or proudly advertise to you at the very front as you open the software that it's going to be enhancing whatever you're doing with AI. And now even apparently many software producing companies are forcing their coders, their computer programmers, to have AI write the code for them, and the AI always gets it horrifically wrong. So then the coders have to go through and fix everything that the AI got wrong. The actual point behind brute forcing AI into everything is the bubble. The bubble is the point. It's too effectively pump the numbers, since so many of us want nothing to do with it and wouldn't willingly use it otherwise, having it built in in a way that it's automatically used when you do certain functions, especially something like conducting a basic Google search, that's a way to perform number inflation. They can now basically take the number of Google searches that in which the AI portion was used, which would be almost all of them, they can now take those numbers Show those to investors and be like, look at how many people are using our AI. Use of AI is exploding. You should invest now while there's still time. And so the companies involved with AI get to attract in rapidly a lot of investors, get to reel in that cash before there is any form of real genuine application and profitability shown. But once the bubble pops, once it becomes pretty clear that it's going to peter out and then crash. Then everybody who is actually involved in decisions of trying to brute force into everything so that they can inflate the numbers and thus benefit from massive investment surge, they that's when they pull their money. And then each run of the ladder, each level of the pyramid of investors below them, and then the next one below them will then pull out their money and the bubble pops and the market crashes. Everyone who's actually seriously pushing it or in a position to make decisions that involve pushing it on us is doing it to drive an investment surge and effectively operate what might end up being the biggest pump and dump scam or pump and dump run in history. As with this bubble, we're talking about hundreds of billions, if not, I think, a few trillion dollars at this point. So yeah, the point is rapid brute force rollout to inflate numbers and thus attract a bunch of quick cash, a huge investment surge so that stock prices and everything else inflate. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thank you for everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, and we do so if you actually can. Linked in the description where you can freely access hundreds of different types of graphs across all kinds of different data. There's links to my blue sky, my photography, and one in the top end comment to my cat's YouTube channel. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.